Before we dive into this week's boat projects, we wanted to take a minute and say thank you to everybody who has responded to last week's buyer beware video. Well, I don't have an update for you just yet, we hope to soon, but we have had an overwhelming response from people wanting to help and we just are so grateful and feel so lucky to have such an amazing community and we just, we do not take it for granted, so thank you. And we wanna give a special thank you to all of our South African friends because aside from this one very specific event, we have had nothing but positive and amazing experiences in South Africa, within the sailing community, and with South Africans all over the world. So we have nothing but love for you and we cannot wait to come back. Hopefully our next visit will be in our own boat. But before we can ever do that, we've got a lot of work to do to get her back in ship shape. And I am clearly not dressed for boat work today. I'm just for a birthday party. It is our friend Grant's birthday today. Happy birthday, Grant. And we're gonna go have some cake and coffee and then we'll meet you back here. And we'll get down and dirty. Roll the intro. I'm Nikki, this is Jason, and this is Curiosity, the driving force behind our thirst for exploration and discovery, literally and philosophically. And well, we've been pushing our curiosity pretty hard over the past several years. So now we've got some serious TLC to do. <laughs> this must be the longest drive ever. Obviously, the sun is trying to poke out, the wind has died down completely, and the rain, well, it's not pounding rain, it's just sort of drizzling, and the forecast says it's supposed to stop drizzling, so we're gonna go at it again. That's right. Why not? Take 347. Yeah. It feels like. <laughs> Start the special tool, let's get this thing going. What you gonna do when the rain's coming down? Nothing more to do. Last time we had the guys bring over their special air compressor driven reciprocal tool, I think, whatever they called it. This is Joe. This is a special tool. This time we have a multi tool and it's gonna be okay on the top and the sides because there's not that much caulk, but on the bottom, there is a crap load of caulk. So it might be a little bit of a struggle. So we'll try to take it out on our own. If not, we'll make a plan. And then we, if we have to get their special tool and for just a little, it is what it is. We can get it out. We can get it. I don't need your special tool. <laughs> I got my own special my own tool. tool. It's not about size, honey. It's all about how you use it. Well, sometimes size <laughs> matters. <laughs> shape is not even. It's like at an angle here. How much space there is around is not even. I feel like whenever we send these, I might have to make a mark or something just because they could make them a little more narrow in these corners because it's a tight squeeze. It's barely the size of a screwdriver. Flatheads. Uh. Are you saying you prefer a Phillips? Yeah. Until the Phillips head strips. <laughs> and then that's it. What was that? Chisel broke. Oh. Uh. Dang it. Look at that. <laughs> Look. Oh, stop, stop. That's the corner I just cracked. So I don't think we should probably work there anymore. What do you think? Well, you cracked it. <laughs> Not much else you can say about that. Good thing we're replacing it. Okay, I'll try to work this part. Okay. 
and then try to work the rest of the way down here. Stop playing with the cameras. Am I through? Golly, slacker. <laughs> what are you doing out there? Playing around electronics. Okay, why are you so annoying? <laughs> Is it through almost? Yes, you are through right there. Okay. Try closer up here. Okay. Corner. The corner. Okay. <sighs> this whole thing is all pretty loose here. Uh, to the guy that molds the plastic, I'm very sorry. I know I just made your job way harder. Spot. Harder. <laughs> oh, oh. There it goes. I got it. I got it. He did it all by himself. I did it all by myself. <laughs> I didn't even need you. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, oh my that's pretty funny. I gotta see that. Oh. I recorded it. The uh, camera's facing the wrong way. <laughs> oh, son of a. All right. Oh. It's releasing. Keep hitting. No more. <laughs> Professional work right there. <laughs> hey, maybe you got a time lapse of the <laughs> sky. I have a shot that looks like this. <laughs> There it is. Look at that. Woo! It took us about an hour. Yeah, not not bad at all. It took the, I took mean, the pros a half hour with a with their special tool. It took us half an hour with our not so special tools. I think you got that backwards. Oh. <laughs> and we cracked it, and we did that. So, cracked it there. I got that. Now that this is the final window, do you have any thoughts about using the multi-tool for doing this? It works great for us because we knew these windows needed to be replaced. 15 years is the lifespan approximately for perspic when perspex perspex. perspex. perspex windows. 15 so to 20. In UV, he said you're lucky to get 15. The tool definitely damages it and maybe it's just my hands not that steady. I think it's just risky if you were gonna actually reuse this window to try and use this because it does scratch the window. And I have to be really careful around the fiberglass, yeah. but this definitely saved us hours. hours of paying those guys or hours of us with a ch chisel and hammer just knocking away with wedges. So it's definitely worth the investment, even if it's just for this project, but I know we'll use it for something else. Yeah, for Does sure. Because there's always something. Oh yeah, definitely. Always, always. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> it kind of wants to go. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to get a hernia. <laughs> hernia. It's so close. Yeah. Try pushing this corner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll just leave them on the back here. No, no, no. We'll come back. 
come down. That is, that's it. Look at that. Oh, I'm so glad this was not solid. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Does it seem like there is there a lip right there? I think there's a lip. Like right here, right? Yeah, so there's caulk on the outside and caulk on the inside. So worried we're gonna destroy this. If it cracks, I'm, I'm I'll cry again. Don't <laughs> 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 try not to gash my head open. <laughs> It won't be your head, it's gonna be your back, and it's just a putty knife, you'll survive. <laughs> It's really good that we t took this out because as soon as I brought the port lights out, this bit in the middle cracked, just like when we were on passage, and then this piece on the side cracked too. So I think these particular windows up front were just toast. Toast at the end of their life. They're just super brittle. Maybe could have lasted another month. We hit a wrong wave, and boom, now we've got a cracked window again. So it's probably a good thing that we're getting it done. Clean them up, get them ready. So satisfying. It's <laughs> a lot of coffee. <laughs> Called Dave the Courier. He's coming to pick him up. Bright and early. Deliveries by Dave. Yeah. We are. We're gonna call it a night. Windows are done! <laughs> well, they're removed no. and they're going back yes. for new ones. It's a beer time. It's a beer time. Dinner time? Yes. 1% battery. <laughs> I'm gonna finish rinsing the deck. Okay. These are gone. Yeah. <laughs> Six windows. Also, the plastic. Yeah. Oh, God, that makes it so much easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was super nice. Yeah, very nice. Ah. <sighs> Come back perfect. That's right. Do you want to explain that he has special clearance? That's ah, why. yes. So he has special clearance to get across the zone where they have the road blocked, and he has paperwork so he can just show them when he gets there that he's delivering goods. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
rust right away it makes it look like it was never there yeah de-rusting i am finalizing the life raft locker and this is the last thing it's uh vent clamshells and i am screwing and caulking these <laughs> onto there this is the drain hole so that just prevents the waves from Coming, coming in, in quite as easily. Let's water out. Yeah. Done! Wipe, wipe it clean and done. Three! <laughs> it's beautiful. It is absolutely stunning, which is very welcome after the intense rain and wind that we've had for the past four or five days uh yeah so we've got a lot of work to do because we've only got approximately two days of niceness before the next set of crappy weather moves in on us so yeah work slaves grunt That's what we're doing what <laughs> i can't hear anything are you talking to me <laughs> So, tool versus razor blade. What's your uh, what's your thoughts? The risk is high because it's electric. The risk of this seems a lot less. So, I'm going to do half of this window with this and then I'm going to do half of the window with this and see which one is actually better but this one makes me a little bit nervous and you see there's already one spot where it kind of like it didn't cut into the fiberglass there might have been like some fill there or something but it's just kind of nerve-wracking okay i'll come back to you after you've had a little experience yeah yeah all right So what's the consensus? How do you feel about the uh, multi-tool versus the razor blade? Something about this caulk. It's a 3M product. It's different than the caulk that we had on the other side, which was a Sika product. That one was hard to remove. And you could see me in the video going, because it was like I was really having to slice. Seriously, this is like, oh, whoa. look at that. But this comes out like butter. For this 3M, definitely the blade way less risk. But I do have some Sika still on that other window up forward, so then that'll be the ultimate test. But right now I'm going blade. Oh, don't turn the thing on me. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kind of over it. Oh. All the stupid grunt work. I'm just tired of it. It's... Okay, no complaining. All right. Just tell me about what happened. So the tip of a screw broke off inside the fiberglass. So now I have to drill out all around the tip of the screw so I can then pull the little piece that fell off and get that out. And then I have to re -poxy that whole hole and then drill back into it. And then, so what should have been easy now? It's gonna take a couple more days. Always. I've broken three drill bits because it's such a tiny little hole. Oh no. Because there's no real, there's no real gap around these instruments. So it's like, I can't drill a big hole. Or you'll see it. God. Okay. I got it. 
I got, got it. it. I got it. I got it. I got it out. It was about that big. Now I have a hole about that big <laughs> to fill. Uh, at least you got it out. That's good. Yeah. And I think I kept it down from the top and over from the right, so it should be able to fill and not have any problems. That could have gone Famous super, last words. super south. Okay. Cracking it out. Obviously, Jason took over the helm because once I started having problems, I was like, help, <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> and then we traded jobs, so you know. The multi-tool, this is my first time to use it. And on this window, which is with the Sika, definitely saves time here because it's so thick however I agree with Jason on that it is very risky I've made a couple of gouges granted it's my first go at it but it saves time to have this for sure on this on the other window I don't know that we would need it so I think it's product specific you feel that way it's window specific product well job, like a job specific caulk specific <laughs> how hard is your oh no gosh uh, it's going. It's going. Hoo-ha! <laughs> Battery power! I went big with this battery because my other ones, I couldn't remember how big they were. I thought they were fours. Um, so I got a six and I was thinking, oh, it's not that much bigger. It's not that much heavier. This battery is like four times the size of our other ones. Oh, more power. Oh, oh, oh. Also more weight and a little harder to hold up for so long. <laughs> What have you gotten it to? Last window, baby. Yeah. The last of the last of the last. It's very exciting, actually. Let's cut your face off. <laughs> My window's done. I just got to hit it one more time. Your window. Well, our window. Our window. She did it together. And thus concludes our good weather for the next five days. <laughs> Pretty much. Jason. Look at that window. I'm rolling. Nice. Uh huh. Classy. You could try it. I mean, it's just pop, 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 pop. Hey, I get a hernia. Why don't you just go for it? <laughs> you think it's going to give you a hernia? Come on, you that weak. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'll it's try gonna, it. I don't think it's going to let go on the back corner. Go. No, I don't hear any more releasing. Okay, fine. Go at it. Like, I cracked the whole corner off. Oh, the whole corner? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, what do I do? Um, <laughs> maybe move on to over here. I don't know. And what are you working on? Um, I'm thinking. Sorry. Why are you drilling holes into our floor? Because <laughs> I got screw it. That's a lot of technical information. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There's some very ominous clouds coming. I thought you were coming to look at my hose. No. It's just... No. It's just, it's just that. <laughs> anyway. I think we should 
we need to cover our windows. Oh, shit.